and we are celebrating International Dot Day today on September 15th. Now this is inspired by the book The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds. Now if you haven't read that, I've put a link in today's lesson for you to have a look, but some of you all already have seen that or read that. Now you will need a bit of paper and something to trace with today. Of course you'll need pens, pencils, you might need something to draw and color with, so I'm using textures and pencils as well, but you can use anything you like. Now for my juniors, you may need help tracing the circle shape, so I'm using a cup. So you may need to get a parent or an older sibling to help you, you can give it a go yourself. But my seniors, you should be able to do this, but we are covering our page, it can be any sort of paper, with as many circles as we can. So I'm using the cup to keep them nice and equal, the same sort of circle shape. So hold the cup still and trace around it. So juniors, get some help if you need. Now your task today is to decorate each and every circle in a different way. Now you can use dots or anything you like. This first one I'm doing, I'm using a pen and I am decorating in lots of detail. So seniors, you might get really, really detailed and think about when you're doing a mandala and how patterns repeat. My juniors, you may just enjoy using pen to create as many different patterns as you like. So I've sped this up a little bit, but you can see that I'm using a thin pen, not too thick, and I'm just doing a black line. So I've got black and white in my circle. Now I'm speeding it up and you can see I'm repeating the pattern as much as I can. Now I'm going to get a thicker marker, so a sharpie, and then I'm adding darker marks. It makes my picture pop from the page. So this circle, I have used lots of different lines to create a different artwork, just black and white. My next one, I am going to write a letter. I'm going to use bubble writing, but you can do anything you like. So I'm writing the word hope, because I can fit in my dot and I am making sure that the, my letters touch the top of my circle and all the way down to the bottom. Seniors, you might be able to do this. Juniors, just have a go at writing a word in the middle, nice and big, and we can add color a little bit later. My next one, I am celebrating football because it's a grand final soon. Now my team isn't in the uh, grand final this year, in fact they haven't been for a long time. St Kilda Football Club, it's my favourite, but very important club to me so I'm going to go ahead and colour in the jersey. You could just do the colours of your team, maybe you aren't into AFL, maybe you like rugby, that's okay as well. But you can see how I've coloured in and done a pattern in the background. I'm going in and colouring my word my hope and I've outlined it as well so it pops next I am decorating my next dot with somewhere I would rather be of course I'd love to be at the beach so I'm doing a sunset and I'm coloring the whole thing in using textures don't forget to add some more dots where you can now this one I am just doing warm uh, sorry cool colors then switching to warm I'm going around and around in circles okay so you can see that I've gone from green to pink and this is good for juniors and seniors you're just practicing coloring in going from warm to cool warm to cool warm to cool okay and I've done it a little bit off center this one we should be all able to do I am just decorating with as many different size dots as I can and the last one I am using a combination of drawing with words so I am just choosing some words that mean something to me so I've got love hope Empathy, which we all know about this one at our school. And what else am I going to put? Let's think. We've got strength and friends. Now I'm going to just put a symbol in the middle. I've chosen a heart, but you can do whatever you like. This is completely up to you. Don't forget to add color to this one as well. Coloring in the background. It's okay if you go outside the lines because we are going to cut them all out really important. I want you to practice your cutting skills and cut around so they're nice and neat. And we've got all of our dots. Now make sure you, if you can, if you've got some blue tack, cut them out, put them up somewhere in your house. They're really nice and bright. Display them where you can.